Hi guys, this is Teacher Maria, and today at Art School of SLB we are going to talk about Impressionism. So you see, for many hundreds of years, artists couldn't paint outside. They had to remember and sketch uh, nature, and then make big paintings in the studios. Why? Uh, because they had to manually prepare paint for each session, they couldn't take the ready paint outside, all the technology of painting was layers and layers that have to dry out. It all changed in the middle of the 19th century, when paint tubes and portable easels were invented. Artists finally started painting outdoors. To capture uh, weather and sunlight that quickly changes, they had to come up with a very fast painting technique. They use quick separated strokes to represent different textures of nature. Long horizontal strokes for water and sky, faraway fields, vertical for the grass, dots and swirls for leaves on the trees. Famous painting by Claude Monet called Sunrise Impression gave the name to the star. And indeed, impressionist artists like Claude Monet, Auguste Renoir, Camille Pissarro, Berta Maria Zoa, Edgar Degas, Marie Cassatt worked hard on capturing the impression of the reality as true to life as they could, while other artists like Van Gogh used this technique to express his own feelings and slightly exaggerate the reality with his elongated curvy strokes. For my master copy, I have selected his Starry Night. You can also paint it or feel free to use any other landscape by an impressionist or post-impressionist artist. I recommend finding vertical and horizontal central lines for the picture, it will help with the placement. Roughly position everything first, uh, then start working on the detail. While drawing or painting a small detail, remember to look at the whole thing together from time to time. So you won't accidentally draw them bigger or smaller than they are supposed to be, and the whole picture will stay alike and under your control. Never press hard on your pencil, especially when you start drawing. Uh, you might always want to erase and redraw this line. If you use non-transparent paint like oil or acrylics, it's better to stress your outlines and maybe paint the shadows first. Alright, now I'm done with the dark accents and now I'm placing the yellow ones. As you can see, this painting's color palette is based on the opposite colors, purple and yellow and some blue. Other colors are pretty dim here. But I'm adding a little bit of red, green, gray to the colors I'm mixing uh, to add variety of color halftones and make this beautiful vibration of color impressionists are famous for. Please pay attention, I'm not blending at all. All the brush strokes are separate and I just put them close to each other. Van Gogh's brush strokes are famous for being very long and curvy. This picture is not just an impression. If you go outside and look at the stars, they will never be this big and you will never see such strokes in the sky. Um, what he tried to show is that glory and vibration of energy that he felt in the air, so he made it visible through these beautiful strokes and exaggeration of the star size. And this is the reason why Van Gogh is not considered exactly an impressionist, rather a post-impressionist, because impressionists, they try to stay as true to nature as possible. My goal is to get very close to the original painting, so I am trying to copy the strokes I see there, the direction and size. You can be more flexible as long as you get the colors right and the strokes more or less similar, you're good. Alright, you can go ahead and start working on your Impressionist Master copy or continue watching me uh, finishing this one. Good luck!
Alright, this is my finished work and this is the Van Gogh's original.